Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. It is New Year's Eve. And what does New Year's Eve need? Well, it needs some bubbly, of course. However, I also really like margaritas, so I decided let's combine them together to make a champagne margarita. Simple, easy, and giving you the best of both worlds to ring in the New Year's with. So let's get into it. Now this cocktail is made in two parts, and the first part is the shaken part. So grab your shaking glass and put it off to the side, because as always, we're going to start with our cheapest ingredients first, and that would be our lime. So grab your knife and then cut it in half and cut another slice for the garnish. Use that slice to dip the edge of the glass in juice and then tip the edge of the glass into the salt. Perfect. Look at that. You don't want a lot of salt for that. So what we're gonna do now is put that right here, put your salt off to the side, grab your shaking glass again, and we're going to squeeze three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Perfect. Now what we are going to do now is add an orange curacao. You could use triple sec or Cointreau as an orange liqueur that is clear, and that'll give you a slightly clearer cocktail, but I prefer Pierre Ferrand because of the flavors. Again, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Perfect. And you know what? This is a, a, a great orange curacao to work with. Now, the next thing we're going to do, and this is totally optional because I'm using a Brut Champagne, which is a little drier. I'm going to add one bar spoon or five milliliters of agave syrup. Oh, fantastic. Give this a little bit of a spin just to get rid of that. Perfect, now what we're going to do is we are going to add your silver tequila of choice. I'm using Cazadores, I really, really like this one. It's got a great cork sound for you too. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with a margarita of these ratios or these ingredients. So throw that off to the side, grab your tin, and what we're going to do, we're gonna fill this with some ice, and we're gonna shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna shake it hard like you're driving out all the bad things of last year to bring in a great new year. Yeah. Pop that off like so with the strength of a thousand limes. Now, one of the things you want to do, because the total ingredients and the fluid volume for a margarita like this is will be close to four ounces. However, your standard flute glass is about six ounces or 180 mils. So, that was close. Uh, <laughs> I have <laughs> a second flute glass. And one of these is not rimmed, and this is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to evenly distribute the amount, so you'll have about two ounces or 60 milliliters of margarita in each glass. And we'll start like this. Oh yeah, and again. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic looking in color. And you can smell it now, you just can't go wrong. However, we are going to now top these with about four ounces or 120 milliliters of your sparkling wine or champagne of choice. In this case, I'm using uh, Frisiane. This is a Spanish cava. It is a brew, which means it is a little bit drier. And we'll just pop this open like so. Use six twists to release the cage and then twist the cork like so. And there you have it. Fancy cork smell, and then we'll just top it like so. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. I got a little excited there. Way excited. Happy New Year. Anyways, having said that, uh, excuse me a sec, let me just clean this because, you know, can't get too excited too early. Uh, yeah, a uh, little bit more here. This is a champagne margarita and we're just going to garnish it with a piece of lime slice, just like this. Absolutely fantastic, look at that. 
you just can't go wrong. A salted one for those who like salt and one that has no salt for those who don't like salt. Now, one of the things I wanna say is thank you very much for a fantastic year. I appreciate every single one of you for coming in, watching my videos, commenting, and you know what? You have a fantastic new year. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rock because every little bit helps to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.